issues and challenging in the District 2 area are to make sure that the regional municipality respects the rural development issues and growth issues and some of the other rural realities out there, for instance, the need for transportation, the need for recreational facilities, the need for, for adequate developments for seniors and for youth, but also to make sure that there's opportunities uh, for, for our heritage to be preserved and protected. Uh, what, some of the things I'd like to talk about is, for instance, uh, rural cemeteries. A lot of congregations down the Eastern Shore are now closing their churches and closing and abandoning the cemeteries. <coughs> and under regulations, provincial regulations, the municipalities can step in in regards to become, become the uh, custodians of those, of those sacred grounds. Uh, there's a movement afoot right now, the municipality is now finally put in administrative order to, to do that. So our, our, our forefathers and foremothers have gone before us. We, we want to make sure that they're, they're Recreational facilities, we have a lot of the aged infrastructure in our communities. We've seen recent developments and some changes and renovations to this particular facility. We need some more to do with Lake Echo. Uh, there's some demands in the Porter's Lake and the Eastern Shore area. Uh, there's opportunities now to, to refurbish parts of the arena at Muscadel Harbor to keep that uh, going as a viable facility. But our opportunity to also look at the possible consolidation of services there. We have the classroom, the library, and the services into one facility to make like a meaningful harbor Shore, uh, because the large or larger areas, uh, McCall Harbor and Maryland have those facilities for close distance for us to get to. But the Eastern Shore further, they don't have the luxury of being so close. But when it comes to uh, transportation needs, uh, the, the, the original uh, regional plan talked about uh, the rural express service. They started it, those Portis Lake service at exit 20, but they didn't finish the job. They had to go to a service from Port of Lake Terminal through the 207, through the Lawrence County to Triple Harbor. 